Paul, what's the work rate been on the first day back in training? Yeah, fabulous. Um, you know, they were all given their pre-season schedule to do for June, um, and that was week one through to four, increasing the, the work rate through June. And today was their first test of that schedule, and they've come all come through it with flying colours. Uh, very, very hard session this morning. Um, obviously lunch, a bit of rest, and then they've been out again this afternoon and done their football work. So a really good first day, and the lads again have, have shown a great work ethic. Uh, Tom Bolonaro has moved to Grimsby this week. You must be delighted for him to uh, get his shot in League Two. Yeah, genuinely so as well. You know, as a, as a, as a, a club, we subscribe to young players coming in. We always say to people that if you get an opportunity, we'll let you have the chance. And, you know, Tom, I think, had a fantastic middle and end to the season. And I think, again, it's, uh, it was good for us. Uh, he did a brilliant job for us to help us win the league. And, you know, as I said, I think he's got every chance to go again. Grimsby have got a very good player there. Um, as importantly, they've got a very good lad as well. Um, and we, we wish him all the best from, from here, but also, you know, feel that Grimsby uh, have got a player that they could also hopefully coach and, uh, and get into perhaps League One or the Championship because I genuinely think he's, he's got potential to do that. Uh, how confident do you think Bradley Hudson Adori can fit into the squad quickly and be a star for us this season? Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't have signed him unless I had every confidence he could. I watched him five or six times last season. He was always Wildstone's standout player. He's played at a higher level and he was desperate to get back to this level. And, um, you know, he's shown a real desire and hunger to want to come to the football club. Um, but having watched him last year, I said he was Wildstone's standout player and uh, we'll, he'll fit into our system. I think he'll fit into the squad that we've got really well. He's another really good lad as well. Uh, great work ethic. And uh, again, having watched him today, big smile on his face. Uh, I think he'll do very, very well for us. How did planning go throughout the summer for the season? Yeah, well, it's, it's never really a, a, a restful time because not only have you got to do all the contractual work uh, with the existing players, you're obviously looking at the players that, that may or may not come in. On top of that, you know, you've got to now sit down and work out away travel and distances and coaches and trains. And, you know, it's not really a job that uh, ever stops, but Bairdy and myself have managed to have a couple of weeks off in June, uh, which you do need. You need that little bit of a break. Um, and, you know, we both came back in today really. Uh, really fresh and, and raring to go and uh, you know as I said it was great to watch the boys put in that type of work rate on day one. Well, uh, how much are you looking forward to the challenge of playing in the National League? Yeah we can't wait I mean it's something that we've strived for for a long time me personally I've strived to manage in the league uh, for a long time and you know much better facilities much better crowds and obviously you know a better player to, to pit yourself against um, and I think the club's ready you know I think that Potentially, some of the times we could have gone up, the club off the pitch, perhaps we weren't quite ready. Uh, this club is now ready off the pitch as well as on the pitch. And uh, one of the things I would like to do, <clears throat> I think we've hit £26,000 today on Boost the Budget from the supporters. It's quite incredible, uh, you know, the, the support that this, the fans give us through Strikers are key and Boost the Budget. Um, we're trying to hit 40000 there's 14 grand to go. But, you know, if we ended up at 26, it's just um, a fantastic effort. And I want to personally thank everyone out there that's contributed so far because that has certainly helped us keep some of the squad together and it certainly will help me, um, you know, replace Tom. Uh, what, what is your knowledge of the National League clubs that are situated up north? Well, not great um, because obviously we've concentrated on getting out the Conference South first. Uh, having said that, we've got Steve Beck and Brian French, our scout, you know, who get very little uh, mention. Uh, they went all round the Conference South teams and the knowledge they gave me was uh, fantastic. Their journey starts pretty much now, um, but what I have done is made four or five relationships with other managers in this league and uh, you know there'll be a share of information going on as well. But whoever we play, we will be technically ready uh, and football-wise will be ready. Uh, what would you say is the area in your squad that is most equipped to compete in the National League? All of it. I think that we've got a fantastic goalkeeper right the way through to our centre-forward. Um, you know, I think the strength of the team, if you look at it, people will say it's the midfield area, but the defence didn't concede that many goals last year and we scored the most goals in the league. So, you know, what, th there is a massive jump in standard, that, that's obvious. Um, there will be days uh, here and away that we'll uh, have to suck up a defeat or two. But what I do know is the group together is stronger um, and we, we genuinely believe we'll do OK next year. Uh, has it sunk in that you're going to be nationally managed after eight years of hard graft here at Sutton United? No, it's a strange one. I still haven't really grasped that we won the league yet. It's uh, say the summer's flown by uh, with lots of work to do. Um, I think it's one of those things. Perhaps you know it might be a long time yet, hopefully. But when you when you look back at your career and you reflect on it, I think you'll reflect a, a bit more about 
you know, winning the Conference South, uh, winning the Ryman League. Obviously, I won the Wessex League and the Southern League with, with East East. That's four titles now. So, you know, from my point of view, I still feel very fresh in the job. I still feel I'm a young manager um, and I want more and more. But um, it will sink in eventually. But, yeah, I'm very proud for the club as well. And as I said, for our magnificent fans uh, who probably wanted it as much as me. Um, and like I say, you know, there'll be some ups and downs. But one of the things about, about this club is we'll all be strong together and I think it's going to be a, an exciting season. Uh, what young players do you think can make their breakthrough this season? Uh, we're sort of at that point now where the lads that we've got are in the 23-24 bracket. Obviously Dan Wishart's a, a no-brainer in terms of uh, that age group but we haven't got young young ones. Um, you know Tom's gone and he was 25-26. Uh, I think the standout for me would be Louis John at 21-22 still. I think he's got a great chance to progress on if he wants to. Um, and we've also looking at one or two younger players here trialing with us and um, you know one of them in particular we're, we're well aware of it was always uh, it was always going to come into the club whether Tom left or not and he's the next one that I'm looking at that, that I think we might have a real chance with is there a set formation you're looking to implement in the team this season no I think we, you always got to have a B and C up your sleeve um, you know we, had, we, we hit a system last year that was that worked very very well for us um, but you know, systems, it's about the players, it's about the coaching, it's about them knowing the system. Um, but we won't be playing any odd systems, we don't do that. It's, uh, you know, it, it will still be pace, it will still be the width that we like in the game, and it will still be quick passing. So, um, you know, from our perspective, we're not going to change too much from what we did last year. Uh, how delighted are you with the awards that uh, yourself and Ross got? Um, Please more for the five lads who got into the team of the year. Um, you know, I think Ross deserved his national award as well. You know, from my perspective, uh, it's nice for awards, but you know, I'm not a CV enhancer. I never have been. So, you know, this, as I said, this is a club that I'll be at. It's not that important to me whether I get an award or not. From my point of view, I think you know, when people want to climb the football ladder, that's more perhaps important to them. Um, but what I would say is the team. I think the team deserves all that credit. Um, you know the coaching staff, the scouting system that we had, you know, it's, I mean, that, my award probably gets more, more shared for them, but listen, it was the players that, that, that did it and you see how they've turned up here this morning and uh, the shape they're in and they're ready to, they're ready to go again. Uh, who do you want first in the National League? Uh, that's a good question. Um, cool. Probably a nice local side, get a good crowd up here first, maybe Aldershot, maybe Awoken, um, Bromley, Eastley, someone like that. But. Um, Ah, it's just exciting, isn't it? You know, to, to wait to this Wednesday to see who you're going to get. I'm sure everyone's going to look when we got Tranmere Rovers and Wrexhams and Lincolns and you know, some magnificent old football league clubs in the in the conference now. And it's just a pleasure to to think that we're going to be playing in amongst them as well. So, yeah, it's exciting that. But and lastly, are you looking to bring any more players into the squad this season? Well, we've got Alex Wall here. Uh, for a month uh, to make sure that he can get through because uh, he had a sore knee last year and that's with the agreement of Neil Smith at Bromley. So Alex is with us for the month in pre-season and um, we'll see how he gets on during that month but if he if he proves his fitness then we would sign Alex. Um, he's a player that I liked a couple of years ago. Um, I think it's fair to say that injuries and probably loss of form um, haven't, haven't helped him the last couple of years but I do think that we're the right club you know, to get older, someone like an Alex and uh, get himself back to where he'd like to be. Uh, and we're certainly looking at another wide player uh, to replace Tom Bolanara. Um, the other avenue might be that we look at another left back and push with Sharp back into a, a wide uh, position where, if we're being honest, he probably prefers to play uh, wide of the three. But since we've converted him to left back, um, I think he equally likes that role. So it'll be one or the other. Um, but at the moment, as I said, if you saw the squad out here today, uh, 18, 19 players. You know, we're uh, we're very relaxed about who we bring in and who we don't. Uh, Paul, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming to SJS TV. Thanks, Tom. Brilliant. Uh, firstly, Jamie, how was your summer and how delighted uh, that you're back at uh, Gander Green Lane preparing for the new season? Yeah, it was nice to have a, a rest. Um, after the first month, you get a little bit bored and get itchy feet ready to come back. But uh, no, it's good to be back. All the lads are back that were here last year. Obviously, apart from Tom, he's had a great move. But uh, no, it's good. Uh, how confident are you that the squad can compete in the that, that how, how, Sorry, I'll say that again. How, how confident are you that the squad can, can compete in the National League? Yeah, I think you look at the, the CV of some of the lads. I think every lad has played at least conference. 
90% of them are probably played in the league, so we know it's going to be a difficult season for us, but we're looking forward to it and uh, we're not aiming just to stay up, we're aiming to obviously push for the playoffs, so it's going to be an interesting season. Uh, do you think we can make Gandagreen Lane a fortress this season? Yeah, I can't see why not. I think last year it took us a little while to uh, get used to the surface, but towards the end of the season, I don't think we lost a game since December, so uh, it's going to be hard for teams to come here and uh, hopefully we have a great home record. Uh, what away trips are you most looking forward to? Uh, there's lots of big teams in that league. You've got Tranmere, Wrexham's, you know, East is going to be a good one because we've got lots of uh, ex EC lads here. But uh, I don't think it's going to affect us where we go. We're just obviously looking forward to it. Uh, do you think the defence can keep as many clean sheets as they did last season with the, the level of football going up? That's our aim. Um, we're going there to try and keep more clean sheets. But obviously, it's the better players in that league and uh, we won't find out until the season starts. Uh, speaking of the fence, what do you make of uh, Lewis John and Dan Wishart playing in the England C team? Yeah, it's great. I think um, they've both done really well. Obviously, Lewis scored two goals. Um, it's great for the club, it's great for them personally, and all the lads were buzzing for them. Uh, how important is it that we get off to a good start to make a statement in this league? Yeah, I think over the years, Sutton have always been slow starters, but um, it's important that we uh, don't slip too far behind. Um, it's a difficult league. When you start losing games, it's hard to turn it around. Uh, is there any in particular strikers that you're looking forward to coming up against this season? Um, if I'm completely honest, I haven't really paid any attention to them like I, did, like, like I did it last year. So we get information on the Thursday and Saturday before the games. So uh, that's the first I know about them, really. Uh, how much pride do we take in leading out Sutton in their first National League game since 2000? Yeah, it's obviously always a pleasure to be captain. Um, but we've got seven or eight captains in that team. But that first game, hopefully, will be at home. It's going to be a great day. And uh, lastly, how prepared do you feel? How prepared do you feel for the Fulham game uh, in a week's time? Yeah, well, it's obviously our first day today. The lads have worked hard. Um, we've got another training session Tuesday and Thursday. So by the time that game comes, we have a little base of fitness. But that first game is really just to get our legs going. So I don't think we're expecting too much, but we still want to go out and win. Uh, what have you made of the addition of Bradley Hosni Doi to the Sutton United squad? Yeah, like all players, he's uh, coming today. He's worked hard. No one really likes running, but it's something you have to do. And I'm sure he'll fit in great and uh, do well for us. Uh, Jamie, thank you very much for talking to SJS TV, and uh, good luck for the friendly on Saturday. Cheers, thanks a lot. Uh, Craig, congratulations for getting goal of the season last season. Cheers, mate. Thanks. <laughs> good.